Hello Globetrotters, it's Kate Pilcher here, founder and guide of Globetrotting. In this video, I'm gonna give you the ultimate packing list for a horse riding holiday. You will be thanking me. Okay, so over the years, I've honed my packing to a fine art. A lot of my Globetrotting clients ask for my advice on what to pack, and even though each client is given a detailed packing list specific to their ride, I thought I would share a suggested list with you all. Obviously, it depends on the country and the climate you'll be riding in, but this list is a great starting point. Now, luggage. So make sure that you leave your suitcases with wheels at home. Pack in a soft canvas bag. The suitcases with wheels are great when you're traveling to Tokyo or LA, but are seriously hopeless when you're on safari in Kenya or Botswana. And with most rides, your transfers are either via small plane or safari vehicles. So the more malleable the bag, the better. So leave your suitcase with wheels in the cupboard for city breaks. Oh, and by the way, if you're a single female traveler and don't have the muscles to lift your bag, you can get soft bags with wheels. I know that's what I have. Now, onto a clothing list. Cotton scarf, love these, perfect to ride with, especially when it's dusty. They prevent dirt moustaches, don't laugh, I've seen plenty in my time. When worn with a singlet or a long sleeve shirt, you can protect your face from dust clouds. The scarf also comes handy at night when the temperature drops or at lunchtime when it's Tabasco hot, you can dip the scarf into a river and cool yourself down. Now riding pants. I ride in Argentinian bourbon butchers in khaki or stone color and they are the duck stunts. Made from durable cotton fabric, thus they're resistant to the pesky hook thorns that can be found in Africa. For hot climates, they are incredibly cool and can also be worn as dress pants. I would suggest packing three riding pants. Don't get me started on jobpers, I hate them. Now, long sleeve cotton shirts like this. If you're in a sticky environment, think Africa, Brazil, Australia, these shirts are awesome for sun protection with a collar as well. For colder climates, you can wear a vest over the top or thermals underneath. If you're horse riding holidays in Africa, be sure to get subdued colors. Stay away from your red or hot pink. I'm a sucker for the blues, black, khaki, all of those colors. Now hats, we strongly recommend that you ride in a helmet. I ride in a Dublin Pro, which is super comfy, light and breathable. You can't go wrong with a wide brimmed hat. Make sure it fits especially well if you're choosing to ride in it. A disclaimer here, you do realize that if you lose your hat while riding and the whole group has to stop, you have to shout a carton of beer to your fellow riders for the inconvenience. Just thought you should know that. Now boots, two options here. I prefer riding in ankle boots with half chaps. This is a good option as your inner leg is protected from rubbing when you're notching out long hours in an unknown saddle. The other alternative is riding in long boots, but I find these can be quite hot and heavy to pack with. Head torch, especially important for your pack trip or safari in Africa. I'm an avid reader at night. It helps settle my busy mind. Head torches are perfect for this. Not to mention if you need to pee during the night and you're in the middle of the bush, your trusty head torch makes life so much easier. Ah, water bottle. Save using plastic water bottles, take your own. My favorite are the Camelback, which hold two liters and easy to drink out of when riding. Sunglasses with a strap. Dorky or not, you won't lose your sunglasses when you're on horseback and need to take them off. Sunnies, again, help to prevent against dust when you're cantering at the back of the, at the, back of the group. Other than your riding boots, you'll want to pack some lightweight shoes that you can slip on at night, either around the campfire or for a walk in the afternoon, for example. These shoes can either be thongs, flip-flops for the UK peeps, which aren't that great in Africa when you step on a thorn, or what I would prefer and recommend are espadrilles or alpalagatas. I don't know if you can see that I'm wearing mine now, as they take no room to pack and are comfy as. I love having a black vest, especially when you start riding in the early morning with a long sleeve shirt underneath. You can peel off the vest once it heats up and throw it in your saddlebag. Now, wash bag essentials. Roll on sunscreen. Again, easy to apply while riding along. Lip balm, make sure it has sun protection 
and no screw lids, um, so that's quick application on horseback. Skin colored zinc sunscreen, I swear by this. Um, my favorites are Dermalogica 20 Plus, um, which acts as my foundation day moisturizer and sunscreen. Wet wipes, especially for the horse riding holidays that don't offer camp showers every day. These wet wipes are a godsend in making you feel clean and refreshed until your next shower. Nurofen or ibuprofen, if you suffer from any muscle soreness from riding, these will help. Take two tablets an hour before you ride if you're suffering from aches and pains the day before. Panadol, self-explanatory. Gastro shot, stop. Make sure you take plenty of these. You never know if food doesn't agree with you. Dry shampoo, a game changer. Again, if you can't get to a shower every night, your hair will thank you for it. So there you have it, Globetrotters, my ultimate packing list for a horse riding holiday. Make sure you subscribe down below to stay up to date with all of Globetrotting's tips and tricks. Until next time, thank you.